Yo, it's been a while, but I'm back again with another upgrade video for my RMX 2.0. RC drifting is all about massive lock and in this episode we install Yeah Racing's aluminium front hubs. Yeah Racing make direct swap aluminium hubs that add extra weight to the front end as well as more rigidity at full lock. So with that all being said, let's jump over to the chassis and see the difference between the standard hubs. Now before we go ahead and compare the MST plastic hubs to the new aluminium steering knuckle set from Yeah Racing, I just want to take a second to note down the amount of lock that these hubs currently give so we can compare after fitting. Our current lock has been marked here, we can take everything apart, have a comparison with the new hubs to the old hubs, fit the new hubs and then see what the difference is. The two main reasons for me why we are replacing these hubs is the first one is being this little part of where the hub protrudes I've actually shaved off because it was coming into contact with the, uh, the lower arm once I'd had a lot more aggressive camber which leads to better lock and the second is this pin here that stopper back there connects to the lower arm and stops the wheel from over rotating and these plastic hubs will actually flex and cause the wheel to come into contact with the upper and lower arm and uh, that will stop the wheel from spinning and you'll end up having a braking effect which can lead to spinning out at full lock. We can see here, if I put pressure on the wheel, that's the actual hub flexing, allowing the wheel to come in contact with the upper arm. And also with the chassis up on a chassis stand, we can see when the arm is at full droop, um, we have contact with this lower nub that sticks out of the hub and also the connecting point for the, uh, the steering rack also makes connect with that, um, that lower arm. So I'm also going to try and space out the um, hub mounting points as well as the top arm to try and give us the clearance so this can come right the way over to here whether we're at full droop or compressed. Now. With the weight of the chassis, the hub's going to sit like this, but in extreme conditions while driving, you do want the car to be able to go to full droop and have the consistent amount of lock. Now you want the upper and lower arm to be parallel with themselves, otherwise you can get bump steer. So you want to make sure that if you're doing this, the amount that you raise the hub and the wheel needs to be the same amount that you raise the top arm. Now we can flip the um, top arm mounting pills and um, hopefully we can space the knuckles out enough um, that we can achieve what we want. The next thing is to rip these off. We've got two 2.5 mil Allens uh, top and bottom, a uh, two mil Allen at the back there, and then a 1.5 Allen to take off the brake disc. And then at the front there, we've just got our 5.5 hex socket uh, to take the wheel off. With the original plastic hub knuckles removed, we can have a closer look at the piece that I had to shave down for clearance and this is the pin here that connects with the lower arm or the stopper. Now all we need to do is remove this pin
like so and the axle will just push out from the back. There is an M4 washer that needs to be replaced and then the two bearings just pop out and refit into the new knuckle. This is a good time to um, clean and re-grease or lube up your hub knuckle bearings. Um, mine were done not that long ago, so I don't need to do that. You simply just press in one in the front, one in the back, and then drop the spindle back in. Place the pin. And we're good to go. On these Yeah Racing hub knuckles, you can see that that piece that protruded off the um, the standard knuckles is not even there, so I'll have better clearance right from the get-go. Um, so next, let's do a weight comparison. So the standard hub knuckles come in weighing at 5.3 grams with the axle and pin. And our new Yeah Racing knuckles come in at seven grams dead. So they will add weight to the front, um, but that's not always a bad thing. I personally feel like I need more weight added to the front and I may well be able to lose some of the added wheel weights that I've already got on my front bumper and now with the new hubs fitted, we can see what the difference in the lock will be. We can see the standard lock, of the MST plastic hubs was at this angle. And holding the screwdriver here like this, you can see that there is actually slightly less lock with these Yeah Racing aluminium steering knuckles. With the wheel and disc removed we can see that there is a 1.5 Allen screw here which will remove the stopper and if we space out the stopper that will increase our lock. Here you can see I've fitted a 1mm 3M spacer um, behind the stopper and that gives us just a little bit more lock. 1mm is the biggest you can go uh, without coming into contact with the back of the disc. With the 1mm spacers fitted behind the stoppers we can now see that the lock is only very minimally less than it was from standard. With all the added benefits of extra weight and more rigidity, giving less flex and more consistent lock. The final thing I want to address in this video is moving the upper arm mounting point um, from here to up here. And we can do this by taking this front block and moving it to the back of the arm and moving the, the back block to the front of the arm. This will move the top arm mounting point about five mil up to the top here. And then to compensate, we can put a two mil spacer in between the hub 
and the ball end here and a two mil spacer in between the hub and the ball end here. With this arm twisted out like so, when the suspension raises, we've only got a small amount until it hits. Or if we're already at full droop, then the arm is gonna hit on the hub. We take a look at the other side. You can see I've mounted the arm higher up with the spacers in between the hubs. And then once we approach full lock, we've then got a lot more lift before the arm connects. I am going to look into getting uh, longer ball studs for the bottom and then replacing this with a, um, a four or five mil um, spacer and removing this spacer from the front to move the whole hub up to give more clearance from the lower arm but we'll tackle that at a different video. So along with the new Yeah Racing uh, aluminium front hub set as well as spacing out the arms that is all of our mods complete for this episode and next thing is to take it to the track and see how it all performs. Thanks everyone for your support so far and I'll see you in the next video.